Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Through the thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. But it doesn't fit. Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. And he's still carrying around the master key. You know, the one that's been locked. Hi. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right. <laughs> maybe my carpet. soldiers, the condemned prisoner in the cell was a close friend of Zaydan. However, when his brother, a Marrakesh police officer, was killed during Strandberg's breakout, the prisoner decided to betray Zaydan and go public. Alas, 
He was caught before he could thwart the coup d'etat. Hey, you there. Yeah, Sir, you, Bishop. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. Possible intruder. Sweeping area. Over. Don't expect resistance from a tied up prisoner. General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Uh, time to decide. What should I do? A 
Well, don't tell me you're sleeping, Sire. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strand. Impressive 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Hey, any openings in your outfit? <laughs> According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. Look, we don't know them. The has access to information we don't. Do you think of that? He's the consul. He wouldn't refuse a handover and create a diplomatic incident. Oh, look, he had a damn good reason. And it is not fair. It is. It is. You can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I had known... Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing deep tissue massage. Oh, come on! Yeah, Donald, I can't... No, I can't hear a word you're saying. Someone turn the TV on. I... No, hold on, I'm heading outside. Do Donald? Do Donald? Donald?
Johnny Engstrom, Monsieur. Here for an appointment with Klaus Steinberg. Ah, oh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Klaus Strandberg. I need to check you out before I can let you through, buddy. Your session awaits. I repeat. Hello, Klaus part of protocol, Strandberg. sir. Please go to the massage room. Fine colors. Go ahead, sir. touch. Uh, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please. Call me Klaus. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Hell, hey, people are Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. And there is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Cop? But this plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Coup in Morocco. The ether virus. 
Paris. Someone knows about us. There is a pattern and I fail to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money? <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Take a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore.